Parquet, Jim Parquet here with VPX Baseball, and today we're going to talk to you about your leg kick and your stride, okay? Commonly known as your loadout, you know, some people say it's your stance and that kind of stuff, but leg kick is really important to put you in a good position to get into the ground and then rotate properly and obviously hit this ball where you want to want to do damage with it, right? Um, at VPX, we're talking about training or developing an impact style hitter. Not a guy that just gets base hits, but an impact hitter to where if a pitcher makes a mistake, you make him pay, right? As a former major league pitcher, it was my job to understand hitting. I trained hitting at the top levels of the game. And more importantly, I had to understand it to the point where I knew where to go with my next pitch and to ensure that that pitch wasn't the pitch that you were looking for. That way it keeps my bags empty and more W's in the column, right? So leg kick obviously is, is, is a basic thing. Um, it's not a hot topic, but it's something that I feel is very underrated, right? You've got to make sure that you have a good stance um, and you're staying, you're, you're in a position where it's going to help you stay stacked here, 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 and all the way through. Check out our other videos on stacking and all of those types of things uh, to help you understand what I'm talking about. But at the big level, when the ball is moving as quick as it is, I constantly tell my guys to really start a little loaded, right? Even at the Division I level, you want to start a little loaded. When you're in travel ball and even in high school when, you know, the average fastball is a lot uh, lower, you can get away with a little more movement because the ball doesn't get on you as quick as well as you don't have to make as such a big of an adjustment. But since we're dealing with an impact guy who has the skills of today, um, building into tomorrow, we're going to start a little loaded. Now, it doesn't matter if you want to be a high leg kick guy, right? Some guys are just here, down. Some guys are high leg kick. That's going to be up to you to decide based upon height and, and feel, right? Because hitting is more about feel rather than cookie cutter. This is how it's supposed to be, all right? So I'm not a big high leg kick guy because I feel like that gives you too much room for error. Now, if you're a superior athlete, um, you, you practice a ton, you've got the lower half strength, maybe that high leg kick gets you into a better rhythm. I've faced a lot of guys that have high leg kicks, and I can tell you, here's the two things. When they are in rhythm and they're feeling good with their leg kick, they are probably the hardest guys to get out in the league. But when they're going going wrong with it they're inconsistent and they're still trying to find it usually the beginning of the year man it's pretty easy to put them away but as the the weather warms up the season gets longer they have more at bats underneath their belt man by probably I say around June-ish I see them again and I'm like this is a totally different guy with his rhythm and then by August if he's going well it's like you can't get him out he'll hit everything right so not saying that high leg kick is a thing, but I'm saying that it does give you good rhythm because hitting is about rhythm, right? So get kind of preloaded, right? Joey Bats is, is kind of the marquee high leg kick guy, right? He starts a little open and he stays, right? But he's kind of in here. Um, when he goes on his high leg kick, which is going to apply to everybody else, he's not here. He doesn't get outside because then you can't start quick enough. He stays in here, right? One of the things I like to tell guys is no matter what height your leg kick is at, no matter where your feet are, if you're this guy where you just come up and down, you're a long stride guy, short stride, high leg, it doesn't matter. You always want to make sure that your head doesn't move during your leg kick. So you're staying loaded here, or you can be here and then start to load, right? Whatever you wanna do, but at the end of the day, your head doesn't move, right? You watch Joey Bats, his head doesn't move. It moves so slight, right, to where he doesn't have eye plane change. Check out the other videos on eye plane on, on how that helps, but that's one of the reasons. So I'm not changing and creating the bowling effect. I'm not making it easier for this hitter, this pitcher, to exploit a portion of the zone because I could start stacked here, but if my head moves and that ball's outside, I've got a really counter move. Right? Pitcher sees that. Now, can you make an adjustment for that inside or change or whatever it might be? Yeah. But if you've gone this way through two pitches or even one pitch, human beings are creatures of habit. It's going to be a lot harder to make an adjustment. That's why you want to 
Establish your real estate, maintain it. Establish my real estate, right? Good hitters want the ball to be away from them. Us pitchers, we want to eat that real estate and start to bring it in. Obviously, you start away to bring it in. Start away to bring it in. The bowling game, right? As we call it at the big leagues, okay? So here's, here's, here's the first portion. When I do my leg kick or whatever it might be, toe tap, my head doesn't move, okay? Boom, right here. So here's a great drill for you to do right there. Just make sure your head doesn't move, right? We'll kind of put this right here so you can see maybe. Doesn't move, okay? It also doesn't move this way, right? A lot of guys will start here and then they'll get into their leg kick and what do they do? They go down or they go up, right? Don't do that. Cup of water up here, make sure it's good, okay? Second thing on your leg kick, making sure that your head you can be kind of down here, but your lower half needs to be underneath you to keep you stacked and supported through because what we're trying to do is command the weight of the barrel, right? So if I wanna drop a little, cause guys can hit like that, right? We can drop a tiny bit, just not a lot. What they do is they drop, they drop a little, but they get into their legs a little more so that that way when they're here, bam, their head doesn't move, right? So boom. Okay, next portion of your leg kick. How long it's gonna be, right? This will go into your stride. That's gonna be up to you to decide where you can grind on it. Now this guy right here that goes up and down and doesn't move, you have a long ways to go and not only that, but you have to get started as well, right? Um, which creates a lot of what we call delay reaction to the pitch, meaning a guy who gets started here with his stride, so he's gonna land, go, can create a lot of separation, right? Which is what we want. More power on goes the story. The guy that just lifts and go, lifts, puts it down, well, man, you've got an extra, extra, extra move here that you have to create, right? As well as your little late. So you have to anticipate more, right? You're just making hitting a lot harder. Ultimately speaking, it should kind of look like this right here. Head doesn't move, and then we start going, boom, bam. Right here, boom, right? Good separation, okay? Your leg kick, your stride, your loadout, it all helps you get to a good position of power to be able to do damage with a certain pitch, right? So if I go toe tap guy, okay? Here's a toe tap guy, all right? Boom. The next thing I have to do, is push and go. Young hitters, unathletic hitters, guys who don't have enough lower half strength, the first thing they do, because they know they gotta get set with this, is they wrap, right? You see that constantly, right? That cage bomber that we see all across the internet, we see them here, see them in travel baseball a lot, your job gets taken because you're just this, and then the first movement, athletically, not when you're doing mobility, right? Because anybody can change this, but athletically when you're trying to compete is the natural movement is this. If I just toe tap, the first movement will be this. That's natural. You're gonna have to counteract that, makes hitting too hard. But if you get in here and you start movement, right? Start into it, boom. You're creating separation already and the first movement, because you have a little momentum, will be this way, which stays on plane and keeps you linear towards the pitch, right? So um, I'm gonna take a few swings here just to kind of show you. If I go with a, a high leg kick, watch what happens when my head gets outside, right? And it moves. Look how much I have to go back to forward. Plus, it causes me to become unseat because I'm here and then I start going, right? Here, start going. And then I'm kind of casting that way. Compared to if my head stays there, okay? My head's gonna stay here, right? I'm gonna get in here, head's gonna stay. I feel like I can stay flat with that. Plus, I'm able to barrel manipulate a lot more right here where I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm able to stay behind the pitch more, not get outside and then have to counteract. And I can actually start to pull this and do some big damage with this right here, right? So my head's here, right? Boom, go. 
that ball's right over second base compared to the other way, okay? Good drill for you to, to work on this, whether you're a high leg kick, just toe tapper, it's just to sit here, right here, boom. And just feel your head, feel where it's going, okay? Then if you're a toe tap guy, right, then you can get into your toe tap, just work like this, right? Just stay quiet. If you're just like, kind of like, we'll call you a, 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 a just a, a regular stride guy, right? Boom. Work with your, work with your separation, right? And feel it. Take the counterbalance out, which is your lead arm. Put it right here and just work and work, okay? Last portion of this, getting your front foot into the ground, okay? If I don't get my front foot into the ground, meaning your front heel into the ground after your leg kick, whatever it might be, you've stayed quiet, your head's not going everywhere, right? Boom, and I start, I'm already done. See where my hips are pointing? Because I didn't get my front heel into the ground. You gotta get your front heel into the ground and have the connection, that way you can go at the ball, right? Check out our other videos on that heel connection and how you get your front foot and heel into the ground before you rotate, it'll help you out. Hopefully you like this video, right? It's just kind of the common, common basics of how to have a good leg kick, toe tap, regular stride, and it all really boils down to making sure that it sets your head up and your eye plane proper to be able to stay stacked all the way through your swing, right? Got a full line of products on our website, get you the big leagues.